Now, having done that work on the toes, we can then move on to the sole of the foot. If somebody is really ticklish, just work through a towel. Um, you'll find sometimes direct skin to skin contact will cause somebody to, to react and to jump. So just that working through a towel will take that ticklishness away. Also, if, you, if you're stroking too lightly, it's more likely to be ticklish. We're actually going to be doing some fairly deep work onto the feet, so it's less likely to be ticklish. But just bear in mind for each individual client. Now you can see here, I've taken the foot and I've put my hand underneath it. That's so that I can support the foot and I can also gauge depth. Because I'm going to put more pressure on here, what I don't want to be doing is to be bending the foot into a natural position or putting too much pressure on. So having my hand underneath gives me a bit more of a gauge. As I said, we've worked the toes, but then you'll find this is quite hard skin to work on sometimes. It can be quite a, a strong area. Remember that the skin on the sole of the feet is one of the thickest areas where the skin will be on the whole body. So you really want to be in and kneading this area. Now usually your client will report how nice this feels because this is an area that's under pressure. When you walk, if you think every time you walk, there's a strike down onto the, the sole of the foot. So actually giving it some TLC, giving it a bit of a tension in massage is really use, really appreciated. Now you can see here, I'm coming, my fingers are in between the bones of the foot and I'm kneading across and then coming out, I'm working in between all of the toes. Now you can use your thumb, you can, if you need to, use your elbow. If somebody's got really thick skin, you can use your elbow in here, but do it more gently than you would do with your thumb. Obviously you've got a lot more power in your elbow than you will in your thumb. But you can find you'd be able to just move down, still follow the gap between the bones so that you're really getting in there. You will often feel a crunchiness here, that's nothing to worry about. Um, it tends to be a bit of a build-up of, um, of lactic acid or it can be various other things within the foot, but you want to get that moving. As you move the way up the foot, move your way up the foot into the arch, you need to back off with your pressure. So I'm not going to use my elbow into the arch of the foot, but I could use a loose fist. Being careful to protect yourself, you're not, you know, you're not going into a tight fist where you're going to put pressure through your own body. And again, I'm just kneading this whole area. Now, if somebody has a problem with the arches of the foot, just be more gentle here. We're going to come right up the outside of the sole of the foot as well and into the heel. Now we're going to discuss shortly what to do if somebody has plantar fasciitis but we'll, we will come back to that. This area here can be very tender for some people so just use a bit of caution as you massage as to your depth and you're working upwards up the foot because you're always working towards the heart and you can go back and repeat that work as often as you need it should feel really good for your client. It's often a neglected part in massage and even we tend to look after, as we said, the skin on our hands more than we do the skin on our feet. So some people might have really dry skin and then you'd want to apply a little bit more oil or lotion at this, bit, this time. I tend to reserve using any lotion or oil for the top of the foot where the skin's a bit thinner. Now, while we're working on the sole of the foot, it can be nice to give a really good stretch. Support the foot, the toes back with your own hand and then just applying a little bit of pressure and you can see that stretch starting to come in into the arch and into the sole of the foot and that's going to do good all the way up through the calf. Don't overstretch it, release it, keep it there. Don't keep it there too long. You can just move it backwards and forwards. You can always move the little bolster and you can put the client's feet, toes onto the table and you can stretch that way too. It's just a really nice stretch but then follow it up with a little bit more kneading into the sole. It just starts to get everything moving a little bit more, working a little bit deeper.